Well, an update here from the promenade on how everything's shaping up for TT 2018. The hooded ram uh, tent seems to be uh, pretty well up now. And uh, our first interview, is probably one of the most viewed of the month, which shows his interest in tents. Of course, uh, I say it's a battle of tents because we've got uh, various options this year. Here's some pictures up at the grandstand. This is the new Heron Brearley venture, which the whole um, tent has been, well, not even really a tent, is it? Here, it's much more uh, bigger than that, but th their structure has moved and is now taking place next to what was a VIP area. So that's got an upstairs, which apparently is somewhere an area you can pay to go into in TT week and uh, obviously we're doing corporates that sort of thing but uh, a fascinating view you're going to get uh, the start and finish line there pretty clear and also when uh, the bikes the winning bikes come through a, a chance for the fans to really engage which looks very exciting of course uh, the third place that's taking uh, places is, is along there on the promenade it's uh, Bushy's TT village and we're now going to have a look how they're doing Yes, yeah, so as you can see, this is the situation down at the Villa Garden. Certainly things moving a pace down here as well. The tent is up, they're obviously still kissing it out. And on the colonnade area, at the moment, they're busy getting ready to put up their tents. And that's going to be a corporate and VIP and champagne sort of feel to it as well on the stand. And then we've got the big uh, stand where the live music is going to be. Uh, the guys from ELS are busy finishing the, that one off. It's, uh, it's going to be interesting with the amount of options that are going to be available this year at the TT. Certainly, it's going to give people that chance to walk along the promenade, take different things in. Of course, bands are playing and, of course, there's burgers and there's booze. What else could people want? It's TT 2018.